Hello there. Today we're going to discuss about how we can integrate what's in chatbot to Facebook. So this is going to be a very important integration and keeping the current things in mind, a lot of business will, will apply this for their businesses and um, this will enable them to answer a lot of customer questions, to, to gather customer leads, um, new leads and and to also answer customers obvious questions about the products and all so while I'm getting into my already uh, already developed uh, chatbot uh, I will quickly uh, tell you that if no someone doesn't know how to build the chatbot and all please uh, watch the other videos from my channel so as you can see I have already a dialogue implemented here uh, you can see it on the tryout panel I have some questions set up uh, which um, I have named uh, my assistant as PAT um, on the on this uh, whenever a question is coming up you can see the name and it have a set of questions um, uh, and some some logic already implemented so I will integrate this particular uh, assistant with the uh, with my Facebook uh, page so um, I will get into uh, the ad integration link and as you can see there is a button called Facebook uh, messenger so you have to name uh, the integration uh, that you're doing you can put any name it's just a name of the integration so I put realist messenger so then you can as you can see you need to follow the steps with uh, steps given there like one two and um, three and three four and five there are total five steps so I will perform the first step I'll get into the you know, the developer.facebook.com you need to get into the my app section and click on create app so after clicking on on that button one window will come where you'll put a name of your app and you'll put an email uh, which will be needed for the further communication for the from Facebook if needed so they will send you mm, communication in that email so after you do this uh, you will be able to see some token generated uh, which you can see under going to the settings and then go to the basics and you can see the app secret you click on the show you copy that code and you need to put it on IBM Watson so after you put the code on, uh, on the on the IBM Watson integration page on the application secret box I will move into the step number two which is collect uh, connect Watson to the Facebook so there are a couple of steps involved there are actually four steps involved I will go through each of it uh, as you can see the steps there uh, I will just follow whatever they have said so I went to the click on the, this plus product button and then I click on the on the messenger and I click on the setup after I click on the setup I scroll down to the page uh, where I can see the access token I click on this blue button and which will uh, allow me to select which particular page I want to use uh, that uh, this integration so I just uh, chose the page that I want to use for this integration as you can see uh, after I integrate it I get the button called generate token I'll click on it I will click on the I understand I will copy the code and <clears throat> I will go to my mm, Watson and I will paste it there. So there is a mm, there is another code will be created on on this side before you move into the step uh, three. As you can see, it's under generated verified token. So I will then create a callback URL which you just saw. Mm, I just click on that button and I will perform this uh, next steps uh, so please uh, keep watching carefully so I will copy that generated verified um, token and there so there you will get the two field when you need to input this to uh, particular code so the, there are the callback will go in the top and then the generated verified token on Watson side will go to this particular field and that's how the verification will be done as you can see the page is showing up here uh, on the web hooks there is no such field is selected so let's see what uh, Watson is saying so Watson has suggested that you should at least uh, have the message and messaging post back 
so i will also activate uh, that two particular uh, subscription field that what watson has suggested and i will click on the on the save so now, now i will move into the step number four in step number four that uh, it's saying that under the webhook you make sure the same page is selected so as soon as you do that basically is your integration done so basically this page is already showing up there so there are some other steps involved which will basically about how you can get the app approved and and post it publicly so that everyone can use it uh, so uh, before going to those steps uh, uh, i will act quickly show you that how you can uh, how the integration is done and how you, it's working on the on the page and how you can test it most important how you can test it so you need to go to this particular button you need to make sure that send messages message button is activated there could be other buttons showing up on your page and then from that button you will click on the test button so as you click on the test button you see it will throw a window with these two options so let's try in by clicking one of the options so i have uh, clicked on one i don't have the answer created for the particular dialogue so it obviously said i didn't understand when i put the name which is more recognizable for my chatbot and as you can see it has started pulling up for my chatbot dialogue flow so it can it's showing all the options that i have programmed on my chatbot so basically clearly it's showing you that, that my particular chat button it's connected over the facebook messenger which is is the end goal of what we are trying to show here so now if you uh, let me quickly go to my profile and try to open up fetch squad and try to see if it's connected so as, as you can see i have it to the page and if i'm collecting on that option it's basically not showing me anything because the app is not published i was basically testing it so keep that in mind after you've created the app it is not published for for everyone you can test it on your own profile but you have to go through these steps in case you need to publish the particular app so all this information as you can see here will be needed to be uploaded your privacy policy your terms and condition your app icon and everything so if you click on the page you can go to the this field you can copy your privacy policy from your website and need to put it there in order to um, apply for the publishing so facebook will obviously review this and then approve it as soon as possible from there so that's all uh, for now hope you have really enjoyed and learned uh, how to do this and you must practice it and keep learning i will come up with more um, tutorial uh, regarding watson and um, so stay home stay learning and keep uh, posting keep posted your, your comments if you have i may not have uh, made everything clear for you but i tried my best i would accept uh, or answer all of your questions and uh, possible questions so bye for now see you soon in my next video keep learning and stay at home and stay safe